Welcome back to Biafra News, support Biafra, Biafra's lovers of freedom, people of good will. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, depending on where you're watching me from. Still, your one and only Ada Biafra here. Biafra friends that bring you another update and the headline reads Biafra Liberation Army Challenge Islamic Terrorist Nigeria to take military action against Niger. Biafra Liberation Army stopped Nigeria from taking military action against the uh, Niger Republic. You don't know. Before we continue with this news, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, kindly click the red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to enable you get notification once I upload a new video. Do you know why some politicians in Nigeria are lamenting and they're telling to them not invade the Niger Republic? It's because of Biafra. It's because of Biafra. It's because of Biafra that knows what will happen. They are aware of what will happen if Nigeria invades Niger. And they think that uh, Westerners, or should I say US, UK, and France, said that Bola Ahmed Tinubu's credibility will depend on what he can do in Niger. As the head of ECOWAS, the Nigerian president will have to show that he can be uh, decisive on defense issues, says the researcher Benjamin Aguri in an interview. The credibility. To invade your fellow African country to please them or to who are you going to prove yourself well it's none of our business we're telling you go ahead invade Niger okay but some politicians in Nigeria is telling you not to invade I don't know why they're telling you not to invade Niger I don't know why they're giving you such advice I don't like this kind of advice these people are giving you I don't like this this kind of advice and they're advising you because of Biafra Liberation Army Biafra Liberation Army uh, stop Nigeria from invading uh, Niger Republic. But it does not that they, they will, okay? It's because of Biafra Liberation Army that some politicians are ranting and lamenting not to tell people not to invade Niger because they, 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 they already know what the outcome will be. So this is, a, this is a, an advice from Bonde George. Seven northern states bordering Niger Republic at risk of uh, measures if war begins. But they judge warns at uh, Nibu. No, it's not because of all this. No, no, no. You people keep lying to yourself. This is not the reason. Okay? Tinubu have to prove to his uh, masters, uh, Britain, US, and France, that he has what he takes. Okay? He needs to prove to them. He needs to. He don't need to fail these people. He needs to. Knowing those standing behind the Niger Republic, Nigeria must prove, as the head of ECOWAS, Tinubu must prove himself. He needs to, he must go to Niger, he must invade Niger. There is nothing anybody is telling me. So let's read what this man said to Tinubu. In a letter he wrote to, president, um, to the president, George warned that seven northern states, uh, Kebi, Sokoto, Zamfara, Kastena, Jigawa, Yobe, and the Bono, Share a 1,608 kilometers long border with Niger Republic and could be direct target of bullet and measles. Former Deputy National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Alo Bode George, has warned President Bola Tinubu to think twice before declaring a war on Niger Republic. In a letter he wrote to the President, George warned that seven northern states, KB Sokoto, Zamfara, Kastena, Jigawa, Yobe, and the Bono, share a 1,608 kilometers long border with Niger Republic and could be direct target of bullets and measures. He stated that Nigeria is already facing serious challenges and adding the Niger crisis to it might not grow well for, might not go well for this government. According to him, Tunubu must be circumspect in his actions because he cannot trust the older nations pressuring him to go to war with Niger. According to him, in Nigeria today, there is no food, no power financial, no power financial to buy fuel, no light, no money. Nigerians are psychologically stranded and people are really going through a lot. So I don't know what our going to Niger Republic with full military power will achieve. He recalled that Nigeria almost uh, singularly financed EC, ECOMOG military operation and that was when our economy was better. 
which economy are we going to use now to finance a full military operation in Niger Republic? When Mali and Burkina Faso have threatened to take sides with the Niger Republic, the letter read, we all know that Nigerian, Nigerians directly or indirectly are fighting the French, the French because of the assimilation policy, which has affected the Francophone-speaking Francophone countries, unlike what we have in English-speaking countries like Nigeria. We should think twice before entering another country military, uh, militarily. Don't start what you cannot finish. Niger is one of the largest land border countries in the world and also one of the poorest. What exactly do we gain if we go to war in Niger? So, what? So that people can praise us as a defender of a democracy? When people are dying at home, do we need that type of uh, <laughs> commendation from anybody? I'm a retired general, so I know what war. I know that war is not easy. Please don't force Nigerians to engage in an endless war. Despite its mineral wealth, the Niger Republic has been held down by its leadership for decades. More than 75% of Nigerians are poor and uneducated. At the right time, if they don't want uh, Tichani, they will get rid of him. Let Nigerians deal with their root and let us focus on how to save our people, our own situation back home. This is Georgia. I am George. Uh, Abode George. What is his name? Yes, Abode George. Telling Tinubu. I am sure you know that seven northern states, Kebi, Sokoto, Zafara, Kastena, Jigawa, Yobe, Bono, and Bono share 1,608 kilometer long border with five regions in Niger Republic. In case of any war, residents of this state will be direct target, will be direct target of bullet and measures. This can also lead to a resurgency of criminal activities in the border areas. Also, some countries such as Algeria, Libya, Chad, Benin, Burkina Faso, and Mali share border with Niger Republic. Can we trust these countries to support us militarily and otherwise in case of any war with Niger Republic? In all of this, we should ask ourselves, why did we finance a rail line to Maradi during the President Mohamed Buhari's administration. Russia invaded Ukraine over a year ago. Thousands of people, soldiers, and civilians have been killed. Billions of dollars worth of properties have been destroyed, and there is still no end in sight. In international relations and the politics, you protect your nation interest first. Burkina Faso and Mali Opul declare that they would support Niger. Can we also trust Chad? which has been under military rule since April 2021. Are we sure this move to invade Niger Republic will not affect ECOWAS? Is this the right time to spend the money Nigeria doesn't have, doesn't have to fight in another country? Okay. <laughs> all right. This is Bode George asking Tenobu's administration all these questions. But I still maintain that it's none of Biafran's business. It's none of our business. Biafra and Liberation Army is the reason they don't want to invade the Niger. But the Putin Ebu is being pushed. They are scared. Those that know what, they are, they, that what will happen, they are lamenting, shouting, and they're telling Tinubu <laughs> not to go because they will be receiving front and receiving back. And once they invade Niger, Biafra will be declared. We will defend our territory. Biafrans can no longer be used as a sacrificial lamp for one Nigeria. No. Nigeria, they are on their own. They are. Whatever they are going to do in Niger is none of our business. And they must go. They must. They must. Somebody said this is not only Nigerian fight, it's a coerce. We must fight this friendly war. Nigeria have, <laughs> have looked for war for a long time. This is an opportunity. Our soldiers are not only, uh, are not only when it comes to internal affairs or peacekeeping. They need to expand their experience. All right? <laughs> Somebody said, I agree with you, my brother. It's not Nigeria war, but ECOWAS war. Nigerian government should be patriotic. Let them fight it this time to recruit 50 million youth into the military. All right. Yes, that is what Tinebu said. 
So when it comes to them, Nigerian soldiers must go to Niger. They must invade Niger. See, this war they have been looking for. Let them go and uh, fight it in Niger. This is what they have been bringing to South East. It's time for them to go to Niger and show their power. Let them go and show what they are capable of doing in Niger. Let's see what will happen. Let's see how it goes. They must go. It's not when it comes to killing innocent people in South East. You will see them deploying thousands and hundreds of soldiers with the armor tank. It's time to go and show, go and let them go and uh, use their Tucano jet. Because that Tucano jet, they didn't buy it for what they bought it for beer friends. Now it's time for them to use it for the war they have been looking for. Let them go. Okay? They must go to Niger. Since they, they want to they want to flex their muscles, let them go there. And I keep saying it. It's not, whether they go or not, it's none of our business. It won't stop the coming of Biafra. Just bringing this to your notice that Biafran Liberation Army is the reason is the reason they don't want to go. It's the reason they are advising Tinubu not to go to Niger or invade Niger. People said they are tired of colonizers and you people want to go and fight them. You people should must go. You see Nigerian soldiers that drive joy in killing innocent people in Biafra land. You people must go to Niger. Those hundreds and thousands of uh, Boko Haram, repentant Boko Haram, you people have been, you have been reintegrating into Nigeria army. It's time for you people to bring them out. You people can re uh, reintegrate more and more repentant Boko Harams in the army. It's none of our business. But what I know is that Biafra Liberation Army is the reason they don't want to go. Those that know what will happen, tell Indianibu, don't go. There's a, of course. The war, you, if you people invade Niger, you people can't bring it to Southeast because Biafra will be declared and will defend it. it will make the whole, we are not part of Nigeria and can never be. Since they're looking for war, let them go. But Biafrans can no longer be used as sacrificial lamp. We are not part of Nigeria. Whatever they are looking for, they will get it. And they can't bring it close to Southeast. They won't dare. So that is it, dear friends. I will stop here. People are lamenting, advising Tinubu not to go to Niger or invade Niger because of Biafra Liberation Army and Biafra. But what they don't know is that whether they go or not, it won't stop the coming of Biafra. That is just the truth. The earlier they realize this, the better for them. It won't stop. Biafra will surely come. There is no two ways about it. So that is it, dear friends. I will stop here. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comment at the comment section. Thank you all.